Hello everybody. Um, in this video, we're talking about one uh, one important thing in MATLAB, which is the if conditional. Um, and the if conditional is used when you need to perform an operation that is based on a condition. So once the condition is fulfilled, you will do the operation. Otherwise, you would either do another operation or you will do nothing. Um, so it's the the basic shape of the if condition is what we see here. You have the input, and then the condition is is checking the input if it's true or false, or the fulfills the condition or not. If it's fulfilling the condition and the tr the condition if tr is true, then it will do an action. Otherwise, it will do nothing. The way we write this in MATLAB is by doing this. We write if and then the condition, the action if true, and then end. Um, so um, let's see how we do this in MATLAB. For, for this example, we want to calculate the value of y, which is square root of x, if x is greater than or equal to zero. So um, I'll close these, and then um, let's start. So you can do this here. I will type if um, x, and and you need to uh, keep in mind that if uh, and MATLAB understands this, this if, and the way it shows you that it understands the if when it turns its color into blue. So uh, when you type if and then x, if if its color turns back into black, into uh, black, then it you, you have you have done something wrong. In this case, this is wrong because I didn't put the space between if and the x. Um, and I want to say now if x is greater than uh, I need to put value of x first, I put x as 10 for instance, and then I would type if condition, and then if x is greater than or equal to um, um, 0, then y equals square root of x, um, and you'd see that now, uh, you wouldn't see that in the video, but behind my, my, my photo or my video, uh, there is continue entering statement, which is the place where it typed before, busy when it's doing iterations and doing some operations. So now it's it's saying continue entering statement. And this is because MATLAB is, is still waiting for your input uh, to be done. And this is what you see here, that if, if condition has to be ended by an end word, and before for this end, then it's not going to do anything. So when you uh, type end, then this this uh, sentence now is disappearing uh, or has disappeared, and then y is 3.61, whatever. Um, but this is not the, the best way to do this. I would never, never, ever type or write if condition in the command window. Um, the uh, the editor or the M file is the, the best place to do this. Um, I would I would take this thing from here and put it here because this is the way uh, which is easy for, for anyone to, to type an if condition. Uh, whenever you want to get do an edit, you don't have to write the, the three sentences again. So let's say I want to edit anything here, then I need to write to type back this this line and this line and this line. And you'll see now in a few minutes um, that uh, the if condition would get longer and bigger when you when your case is more complex. And in this case, you you would need to write four or five lines, which is is not logical. Um, I would save it as if basic, um, and then let's see. So um, this is the very very basic um, way of writing x. So I put x equals ten. Um, and I do run the file, then it tells me that y. Uh, if I put x equals negative value, then the file has already run, but it didn't give any output because the, the condition is not fulfilled. So let's say I have another thing to add, that if the value of x is not uh, greater than or equal to 0, I know I need to perform another operation. In this case, I want to put something here to tell my lab that there is another operation that needs to be done if this condition is not fulfilled. So this can be done by typing else. When you type else, it understands that this is where MATLAB will look for the operation to do um, if the condition is not fulfilled. It's like saying if x is greater than or equal to 0, do this. And if x is smaller than 0, which is the opposite of this condition, uh, I would put y equals negative x. So now when I run the file, y equals 10, which is negative, negative 10, okay? So this is um, the second step in the MATLAB if condition. 
Um, and of course, you can add more than one condition using the relation statements with the conditional statement or the logical statements. Um, more than one condition is is totally totally valid. Uh, you can do this. We we saw how to do the else and this if, and there is one more. Uh, complex step which is uh, having two conditions so let's say I have one condition if it's fulfilled then you would, uh, you would take an action if it's not fulfilled you need to check on another condition so you have now two conditions so each condition corresponds to an if statement so this is an if statement and this is another if statement so this if statement is inside this if statement and uh, this is what we say by uh, writing the else if uh, so it's gonna be something like this you have if and then take the action and then else if uh, then condition two and then else and do the action three. so let's say I have now three conditions um, um, if x is greater than or equal to 100 y will be square root x else if x is greater than or equals to 0 y equal um, 2 multiplied by x and then else y equals um, negative x okay so this this code that I write uh, here it it will calculate the value of x as square root of uh, or of y as square root of x if x is greater than or equal to 100 and will calculate w uh, y equals to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 or and and I'm sorry and smaller than 100 and uh, if x is smaller than 0 y equals minus x so let's run the file if x equals 10 then y should be uh, under this condition which is 20 uh, so this is what you get if x equals 200 or let's say 400 then it's going to be 20 which is square root of x if it is negative 400 the output is 400 which is this so it's pretty simple and logical um, thing in MATLAB is to write the if condition and if you compare the way you do the if conditions in, in Excel to the way you write the if conditions in MATLAB you would find this way way easier and way simpler um, and you can easily track it and the way it, it types the the uh, or put the colors of the if and the else ifs and else in in blue makes the life easier and we will see in few minutes that you you would have more than you can have more than one if condition um, or, or if inside another if in this case it tells you which one corresponds to which one so as you see you you, you put the mouse here 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 it underlines the original if that you are still working inside so the last thing about the if condition that we want to say now is what we call the nested uh, decision structure or the nested ifs. The nested if is when you have more than one if or an if uh, embedded in another if. To understand this, let's see this um, this map. Um, I put it uh, inside to side with the MATLAB so that we can see both easily without losing any information so what we have here is that you have an input which is x and the output which is y and z and you want to see how um, how to write this in MATLAB um, it, it seems like a, a big confusing map but it's very simple actually so so I would I would do this um, uh, pretty simply I, I would first uh, make this as just just to like put everything together uh, as we said before I would add what we learned before to what we are learning now um, um, so I will make it as a user defined function so I would make this as a function and the output in this case is y and z and the input oops and the input or the, the file name I would say um, example 84d because I have other 84s before and the output and the input would be x and here um, the the user would, would put the value of x and we will calculate the y based on y and z actually based on x so the first condition is that if x is greater than 0 so I would type if x is greater than uh, 10 I'm sorry if it is greater than 10 then you would go this way otherwise you would go this way so um, here y equals log 10 this is the log actually of x 
um, and then um, here to calculate the value of z you need to check the value of y first so um, you would do an if condition for this and and this so i would do if um, y is greater than or equal to 3 um, I didn't put the space here um, then z equals 4 multiplied by y else if y is greater than or equal to 0.5 so I'm now done with this I'm working on this um, z equals 2 multiplied by y else um, z equals zero and then end so you see now I'm, I'm i'm done with the internal loop and then here i'm going back to the original loop that uh, or i mean the the original if condition that i started and then y equals five by x and z equals seven by x and end of course you can you can now do any uh, I'm saving this and then um, of course you can do this as uh, uh, or, or put the f print f or type anything uh, if you want but uh, it, it's not a must and you can type one other end for the function itself um, so you have one one end for this and one end for this and let's now run the file I would get the output as y and z equals the ex 84 d of um, the I want x to be let's say I want x to be first smaller than 10 um, I will put it as 1 and then uh, it doesn't understand what is the y not assigned during call to x 84 d I don't understand what's the, uh, the problem here um, so y equals log 10 of x it's uh, the output argument y so it's already assigned here i don't understand what it cannot understand that y is assigned Okay, so this is one thing I don't understand yet. What's the the problem? But I understand that uh, I understand that there is something wrong um, uh, about the code because in in this part because I was able to run the first part without any issues. If x is greater than ten, it was able to done it, to do it. So I now understand because when I check this, I should have an else here. Okay. Um, because it, it, it doesn't have anything to do so so now if I run this it will get the output so so the the error that showed up was because I didn't put the the um, the the else statement um, and and this is this not a problem you will always face uh, something that you missed and you didn't put while you're writing the code um, so I will run it one more time with a value of X that is greater than 10 I put it as 2000 and 2000 because uh, log 2000 would be um, would be something between here and here because log log 1000 would be uh, would be 3 uh, so 2000 would be would be greater than or equal to 3 so um, let's check it before we do anything log 10 of 2000 would be 3.3 uh, so it should be 3.3 and z should be 4 by 3 which is like 13 point something um, so I, if I if I do that it's 13 and 3 point something if I do this like for 500 which is gonna be something between here and here um, then I would get 2 point something and then 5 point something if it is smaller than um, 2.5 which is I would say 50 so it's 1.7 and 0. So it's 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 working well for all of them actually. So this is all for the if condition. Um, uh, we will see one more example in the next video that will be uh, very helpful. And then we will go for the for loop and the while loop, which are also very, very important things in my life. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.